Hi everyone, uh, this is me Shahid. I hope you're doing well mm, and enjoying uh, your home staying with your families. Uh, it's tough that you guys are at home, not doing a lot of stuff. So while you are at home, I think it's best time for you guys to cook some nice food for your family and learn if you are at home you can learn some cooking by watching cooking channel i know there is a lot of cooking channel you can watch but if you watch me you will promote me so you should promote your coach um whoever watch my squash videos kindly they watch my food recipes too i think today i'm going to be making a very special rest recipe for you guys so the the people who like to um eat sandwiches they like to eat sandwiches i think if they have this made i think it's going to be very helpful for them because they can cook that in no time and they can use in their sandwiches uh, that kebab so i'm talking about a shami kebab shami kebab basically people making from beef um, but what i'm going to do i'm going to use chicken so i'm going to use chicken and I'm gonna make a shami kebab. So shami kebab is a very famous kebabs, which uh, we, I think Indian Pakistanis, or I think, I don't know, Bangladesh, or some that continent is using a lot. So this is shami kebab look like. This is shami kebab look like. This is basically a shami kebab masala. So all the ingredients which you have to put uh, it can come in this sachet and you can put that I think it has all the ingredients Which you need for to putting that in shami kebab and shami kebab tastes so good If you prepare shami kebab properly, it tastes tastes so good. So what we need in shami kebab is a Masala This is a masala here and what other ingredient you really need to use is a this is a coriander this is coriander seeds coriander seeds um, so you can use those I buy the chicken breasts so this is chicken breast without any bones there's no bones in that and um, this is a lentil. This is yellow lentil. You can buy it from any uh, Indian Pakistani grocery store. This is called yellow lentil, the big ones. So this is lentil, this is chicken, and this is pan. I'm gonna put everything in the pan like this. So I put uh, my lentils and breast in the pan and I cover it with, with the water. And what next thing I have to put, I think it's, it's very important right now that you guys to have to cook everything in home from your own hands because then you know that you're washing your hands properly and making everything very clean. So I think it's better that you can cook everything uh, at home right now so what other ingredient I have to use in that is a ginger and a garlic so I'm gonna cut that little and a little bit mash it in my desi langri So this is my garlic and I'm going to use a little ginger in that too, a little ginger
So this is my garlic and ginger grown in that desi lungri. Shami kebab tastes so good if you made that proper. So this is my last both ginger and garlic in this lungri whatever you call I don't know Oh, go in, don't come out. So these two ingredients are gonna go in this pan with the chicken and lentil. So I'm gonna put those two. And so I put my ginger and garlic in that. And this is called garam masala. Garam masala, you can see that here. This is garam masala with some coriander seeds. So this is coriander seeds. So I'm gonna mash it with my hands. And put it in that. And also bay leaves. and a cinnamon stick so that's i'm gonna put in these and then i'm gonna boil it for at least uh, one hour so the lenten get gets soft and everything gets ready for mash okay guys so guys everything is ready chicken is boiled uh we boil the chicken lentil is also boiled we need the green coriander fresh and also a mint leaves and three green chilies which is very nice i think um, we need that green chilies but not a lot because if you put a lot of green chilies it's going to be very spicy and uh, not going to be good for your sandwich so what we're going to do now we're going to mash everything we're not going to grind that but we're gonna mash it like this. As you can see, if you have this thing, see? You can mash it with that. Because in kebab, if you mash this, you will see that it's gonna be very tasty. If you mash it it's gonna be like this see that yeah so we're gonna do a whole chicken like this and also lentil what we're gonna do with the lentil we can grind the lentil but chicken we have to do it like this okay because you don't want to grind the chicken so as you see that we can grind our lentil we put our lentil in the grinder and we're gonna grind our lentil
So here we are guys, um, this is chicken. I just um, mash all the chicken and I put lentils and chicken. So this is gonna be a shami kebab from lentil and chicken. Lentil, chicken, shami kebab. So you can, as you see that this is a shami kebab. So this is a lentil and chicken shami kebab and I'm gonna put some coriander and mint and also green chilies. And I also, because I have a little extra chicken, so it's a very quick recipe. You can mash some potatoes. This is potatoes. I mashed it, I boiled the potatoes and I mashed it and I can put the chicken in potato. So it's gonna be a chicken potato kebabs. So there will be two kebabs, lentil and chicken and potato and chicken. So there will be two kebabs. And that kebabs, if you are in a hurry, you can cook that kebab, put it in your sandwich, put salad, and you're all set. So as you all see that I mixed all the coriander and mint and that green chili, and I made that. So it's gonna taste so good. It's gonna taste it's gonna taste amazing guys mix it well with that green stuff I mean green coriander and it's gonna taste so good chicken and lentils this is a chicken and lentil shami kebab ready to cook and this is chicken and potato kebab is gonna be I'm gonna make that soon too I'm gonna taste it's already cooked as you know that it was boiled oh my god yeah very nice and tasty so guys um, both kebabs are ready this is a chicken and potato kebab cutlass and this is shami kebab which i was talking which i was basically i was making that today but i was just thinking to make two kebabs and show you too so uh this is lentil and chicken so we have our egg and i put the pan and the oil is getting ready so what are you gonna do next we're gonna put the shami kebab in that egg and come with me and I'll show you how to I'll bring the other one a little egg and then put it here so this one is a shami kebab and now I'm gonna bring the cutlass potato and chicken this is potato and chicken so it go on this side and the next one okay guys I hope you like these videos of mine and little effort from me Kindly please share and subscribe so my heart get big and share with your friends subscribe Hit the like If you're watching that What's the problem in hitting the like? Just hit the like and subscribe. There's a red thing called subscribe it. Please subscribe it. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I like to joke too. So it's gonna taste so good guys and I'll taste it and I'll show you how it tastes guys all of you know, there is nothing going on in the world. There's no squash coaching. There is nothing going on. So there is no coaching, there is no money. The money which I have, I already spend on me or my children. I'm not asking money. I am asking the like and the subscribe. So kindly, if you know other friends and family, share the video with your friends and kindly, you know, promote me, promote the channel. It's your channel because of you guys I'm making the videos. So I hope you like my efforts. Look at the kebab. Oh my goodness. Guys, in no time you can cook that for you. 
in no time. And you can put it in your sandwich and you're ready to go. And it's gonna taste so good. It's gonna taste amazing. And it's gonna taste amazing, guys. I think these two are cooked. And I'm just waiting for the these ones. Yeah, I think it's all set. So it's time for me to take that out. Wow. I hope you like it, guys. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. Come on. Yes. So guys, uh, look at that. I hope you like that effort. If you like it, kindly share and subscribe. Thank you very much and God bless you all.